In this video, we download from BBC iPlayer with no expiry and no restrictions. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. BBC's iPlayer allows access to content within 30 days of broadcast. Whilst plans to extend this to 12 months are proposed, the current rules bring a degree of time pressure to watch before the expiry window. In this tutorial, we will use the Get iPlayer app to create a standard MP4 file, which can be played on almost any device and transferred just like any other file with no expiry concerns. We begin by visiting the download page shown on screen now and in the written description accompanying this video. We scroll to the download link, which at the time of this video's publication is for version 3.21.0. A newer version may be available by the time you watch this video, but in any event, we look to download the executable file rather than any of the supporting files, and we are therefore looking for a file whose name concludes with .exe. The download commences, concluding quickly, and in Google Chrome we click the arrow to generate a menu from which we select the option to show in folder. With the downloaded file shown in our downloads folder, we click to run it. As an unrecognised app, Windows Defender Smart Screen appears to challenge the installation. In order to progress, we click More Info before selecting the option to run anyway. A second level of challenge is posed by User Account Control, and we click Yes to further advance. The Setup Wizard appears, and we click Next to proceed. At the License Agreement screen, we tick the relevant radio button to indicate our consent, before clicking Next to proceed to the Additional Tasks Selection screen. In this instance, we tick to add a desktop shortcut, purely to allow us to launch the application easily following the installation. With our customization selected, we can now simply click install, and the installation commences. Upon completion, the icons requested are added to the desktop. We untick the option to view the release notes, in order to progress immediately to launch. With the installation finalised, we click to run Get iPlayer. The first run sequence commences, taking some time to conclude, although the appearance of dots acts as a reassurance that the operation is ongoing. Once concluded, we are ready to input our command. We begin by entering get underscore iPlayer, then a space, but this is only half the command, and what follows will be the iPlayer URL of the specific program we intend to download. To obtain the URL, we head to bbc.co.uk forward slash iPlayer. From here, we navigate to the content of our choice. In this case, we'd like to download the most recently broadcast episode of EastEnders, so we scroll down and open the relevant page for that episode, which in this case was originally broadcast on the 2nd of August 2019, as is apparent from the date embedded in the URL. We then select the URL in its entirety, before right-clicking and selecting Copy from the menu which appears. We could equally have used the keyboard shortcut Control c The menu disappears, and the URL has been copied to our clipboard. We therefore close the browser window, using the icon in the upper right, returning to the Get iPlayer app, where we have an unfinished command. With a right click, the URL we copied is now inserted, and our command is now complete. We press Enter, and the command runs, identifying our target episode. The download commences, with a completion percentage shown in the lower left. The speed with which the download concludes will of course be proportionate to your internet connection, and this will take longer over slower connections. Whilst downloading, it's worth noting that a UK TV licence is required to access this content, and that it wasn't intended to be downloaded beyond its 30 day expiry, so again, these techniques should only be used for personal use, and never exploited through file sharing. Once the download is complete, the file is automatically converted to MP4, making it suitable for almost every modern video player. With the conversion complete, the task is finished, and we can simply close the Get iPlayer window. Upon closing the window, we note that a new iPlayer Recordings folder has been added to the desktop, although note that the location of this folder may vary with setup. We open the directory, and note that there is a single file contained within. If we right click and inspect its properties, we note that this is indeed an MP4 file, coming in at just over 1GB for just under 30 minutes of high definition footage. Of course, the file can be renamed, and we provide a slightly more elegant label. Like any other file, if we right click, we can cut, copy and paste to a location of our choosing. And of course, if we double click, we can watch the program in our default video player. Whilst we've demonstrated a simple method to download a single episode via its URL, Get iPlayer has a complex series of commands, which greatly extend its functionality. 
These commands are scrolling on screen now and in the written description accompanying this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.